Well, we got some peacock eggs and they didn't hatch. So let's see what's inside. here getting ready to feed the chickens let them out so I'm just getting their feed poured into their bowls A lot of craziness going on this morning. That duck was chasing around the chicken and there was really no purpose to that. They're both female. I don't know why they were fighting. Oh, look here, they're over here fighting. What are you doing? Okay. Why are you letting her beat you up? Gosh. Man, she was just sitting there taking a beating from that duck. All right, so I don't know what's going on there. The male duck is hanging out by her, but don't know if she was taking the nesting box up. She's been a broody hen, so I don't know if she's taking the nesting box up that the duck wants to use. I don't know. Second issue, we just had a turkey fly out. Uriah just charged at it and it hopped over the fence. I've got to come down here. I've got to clip some wings. So these big blue slate turkeys, not sure if I'd ever clipped their wings before, but they're getting pretty huge and they can very easily hop over the fence, which I don't want them to do. I like to do it over here by the compost pile because then I don't have to go pick up all the feathers. I can just let them drop right here. The tricky part of doing this is that I've only got two hands and I've got to hold the feet or the body and I've got to hold the wing out. So there is a, there's one feather that never grew back, but all the other feathers looks like they've all grown back after clipping this when they were younger. It doesn't hurt them at all. It'll just keep them from being able to get up and fly by just having one wing. Now I've got two more of these. Let's see if I can track them down and take care of the same thing with them. And then from here I can go straight on over to the meat turkeys, the broad-breasted white turkeys. guys are the friendliest bunch you'll ever see. Whenever I come in here, they just start chasing me around. And then lastly, we've got our little turkeys here. We don't let them out very much. The cats have been a little dangerous around them, but if I'm right here, I don't mind letting them out for a little bit. Today's story is about peacocks. A few weeks ago, a month ago, we just uh, found a random post on Craigslist about peacock eggs. And if you've ever looked at how much peacocks or peacock eggs are from hatcheries that I've looked at, they typically have a minimum order of six to eight pea chicks. And it's somewhere between 400 to 600 bucks, like $50 to $75 per chick. If you were to buy juvenile or grown adult peacocks and peahens, it goes up way more. Sometimes a male female pair is as much as 400 to $600. That's insane. So what's cool about peacocks? 
Of course, the, the tail on the male, what I didn't know is how long it takes them to get from hatching to get to where they're actually laying to produce you some babies that you can sell and make that money back. It takes nearly two years from hatching to get to age two to fertilize and lay eggs that you can hatch. So when I found these eggs come up on Craigslist for $8 a piece, I thought, this is a steal. I'm definitely gonna try this out and we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what to do with them after we get them. We were just really excited to, to try this experiment. Now here it is, 32, 33 days later, and these eggs have not hatched, and we have done everything we always do with our incubator. We keep it at 100 degrees the entire time. We keep the humidity over 60%, and for some reason, none of these eggs hatched. So what can we do? My first thought is I need to call that lady back and ask her, is this legit? Are these for real? Are these eggs fertilized? How long have you been letting them sit out before you sold them to me? A lot of frustrations going through my head. The first thing I wanna do is check these eggs. I handled a lot of them a few days before hatch and it seemed like there was something in a few of them. So I wanna open them up and just make sure that some were fertilized so that I make sure that that is not the issue and then figure it out, you know, what's going on, if I can get more eggs from her. So let's open these up and let's figure this out. So of course the thing about eggs that don't hatch these are gonna be really rotten and they're gonna stink, but let's see what's inside. So nothing inside, egg number one. Nothing inside, egg number two. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one got so far along. That was almost there. Oh, it was a white one. We had a white peacock and it didn't make it. Oh my goodness, this one was all the way there. Oh. It's another white one that made it all the way and didn't survive. Nothing in that one. This one's partial. That only had a little bit of development, not much. Oh, that was so disappointing, you guys. We had four start to develop, and three made it nearly to hatch, and two of them were white peacocks. I just, I can't believe that they did that well and they didn't hatch. That's really disappointing. So, what's the next move? I was really kind of frustrated with possibly them scamming me for some peacock eggs that were really cheap and I couldn't figure out why. And now I see that they were good and something something went wrong on my end. We do have some broody hens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go give her a call right now. I'll see if I can go get some more eggs and if we can try this again. Peacocks will only lay 30 to 40 eggs a year, only from like May till August. So it's towards the end of that. I'll have to see if she's got any left. Let me go check with her and I'll let you know what I find out. Hi, this is Jake. I bought some of the, the peacock eggs from you last month and some of them developed, but none of them hatched. Um, so something went wrong somewhere. I'm not sure where, but um, I was wanting to see if you had any more. I wanted to try it again if you had any more. All right, so some really good news. We contacted the, the people back that we got the peacock eggs from and they happen to have seven more. It's the last seven they got for the season from their peacocks. So they suggested, and I definitely agree with it, that we're gonna try half and half. We're gonna put three in the incubator and we're gonna put four under a broody hen. And so what we're gonna do, we've got four right here. We're gonna go grab, we've got uh, like three broody hens right now. So we're gonna take her, bring her over here, She'll be totally private, she'll have food and water. She'll have a cool dark place to hang out and not have any of the other hens mess with her and her eggs. So we're gonna go get her right now and then let her start sitting on these eggs. All right, well hopefully that will work out. I'm gonna go back in a little bit and check on her. She wasn't sitting down on the eggs initially, had to show her that's where we wanted her to go. We had a, we put a little nest box in there and now she's just kind of hovering over the eggs. So let's go inside and see what Becky's up to tonight for dinner. Making chili tonight, 
a yucky, rainy all day, so I thought cornbread with the chili would be awesome. So I've got some cornmeal here. I'm gonna just go ahead and make that up. Yummy. 